This week we are exploring the desert so we're going to be drawing our own desert and I thought this week might be a great week to look at perspective drawing. Now there's lots of different ways to do perspective drawing but we're going to start with quite an easy way today and what perspective drawing is when on one flat piece of paper um, we can make things look closer to us and make things look further away. There's a few different ways we do this. One is to add lots of lines because that can create depth in our drawing. Um, another way is to overlap drawings, um, things we draw in our artwork. So when you see me draw this desert now and you guys have the drawing guide also in your lesson that you would have seen to get this link from, um, we're going to be drawing cactuses in front of like sand mountains. So that's going to give a 3D effect even though we're working on a flat 2D piece of paper. So um, here are our instructions here. You've got this link on your work. I'm gonna try and draw this one. Um, we're going to start with the cactuses. So we're just gonna kind of follow some round shapes to get our cactuses happening. Cactuses are funny kind of little trees. They've got lots of spikes, so they're quite fun. Um, they're quite fun to add into our drawing now like I always do I am adding in um, my black outline you don't have to add in your black outline it's just my thing that I like to do because I feel like then when I go and color in with different crayons or pencils or textures that my artwork really pops when I've done my black marker outline now today I'm going to color in in crayons just because I feel very lucky that I raided my son's um, pencil tin and found some really cool colors that will match our desert scene perfectly. Um, it's up to you what you choose, what you choose to color your desert out of. Anything you have at home is fine. Now I am super proud of you guys and some of the work that I'm seeing come through the Google Classroom. I really love the, um, collage ones that you guys did of the jungles and the rainforest they were fantastic um i also really love the snow globes that you guys did i'm really really proud um of how hard you guys are working because it's really hard being at home and learning from home and just trying to figure out um what miss patera and all the other teachers are wanting you to do just through some lesson plans and a couple of little notes on um, Google Classroom. So super proud. I'm just doing my lines here. The lines in this piece, because this is a landscape piece that I'm doing here, um, and landscapes when we're showing a whole environment. And all the lines that I'm adding, when I go and add my color, that's really gonna help show um, the distance in my drawing space it's one of our um art elements we're using lots of art elements today actually line space color all right i'm just adding in all my little fairy spiky bits on my cactus because i want that to look super cute now here's my outline I'm hoping it looks like the picture. Yep, looks great. Now I'm just gonna go through and quickly add my color in. I'm using lots of browns and kind of goldy colors, yellows, oranges, reds. I do have some greens for the um, cactus ready. I've put another um, perspective example up on the Google Classroom as well. So don't feel that you have to try this one. You guys are so clever that you sometimes come up with even better ideas than me. And some of you have really cool supplies at home as well. That means you get to um, do some really cool stuff. Now remember when we're coloring, try and stick to the same direction. I much prefer when we're coloring that we um, go in one way. Especially now one twos, you should be in a really good habit of coloring one directional now. 
it just makes our artwork flow look heaps nicer um am i going up or down in my colors add some orangey yellow in now now i'm doing this really 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 quickly because um i'm sure you guys just want to go and get started on this but i just thought it might be a really nice check-in if you um have a video to watch of me doing the artwork this week because i haven't done many this time around but i will try and get back in the habit now that i'm working from home a lot more um as well oh now the sun is really fancy when you have a look at the picture i'm going to do it where i'm going to blend another color in the middle and i'll show you what i mean in a second i've done a bright outer lay color i don't know if i had my chance again if i'd use crayons maybe pencils or textures might have looked at a slightly better effect but that's okay all right now i'm going to start using my warmer colors so my really bright oranges and reds for my sunset just quickly color my cactuses i'm sure i'll show you how i'm going so far it looks great yeah see how by just adding these simple lines it kind of makes it look a bit hilly like sand hills so that's making me look like this hill that here is really close to me and then that cactus isn't too far away but this cactus all the way in the distance in front of this sand mountain is much further away and then when i was talking about overlapping before you can see that this cactus has overlapped the mountain and then the mountain has overlapped the sun so that's creating a real um, impression to us that we're looking into the horizon into the distance now I'm quickly just going to finish off my sunset. I'm going to start with a red up the back quickly with my one directional coloring. The good thing about crayons is you can get the coloring done really quick. Well, this is a really bright red. Okay. Um, now I'll go down to some orange. I love seeing all your work come through. I'm sure I said it earlier, but I just want to emphasize it because um, Miss L and Mrs. Urban and I, we do get really happy when we see um, work coming through. We often text each other and go, oh my goodness, did you see this person's work? Did you see this person's work? We're like, I know, super proud. How clever was it? Do you know what else we love? We love seeing when the mum and dads get involved as well, actually. I've had some kids email me not only their own work but their mum or dad's work too that's a really nice feeling for us it means that the parents are seeing the value in the work that we're doing for you guys as well okay there is my finished desert see how i've blended lots of the warm colors together really to create a sense of um perspective dimension all the lines in the background here my overlapping can't wait to see what you guys come up with upload a picture to the google classroom thanks for watching thanks for listening thanks for drawing thanks for participating you guys are wonderful see you later